but yeah, this turned out cute, girl. <laughs> New Year's Eve so I thought I would do my hair and just freshen up my makeup I did my makeup earlier but it's kind of like I know a lot of you probably are not going out because it's super cold out there but if you just want to look cute for me we can do something here it is about to be 2023 you guys if you don't mind sharing I would love to hear your goal for 2023 you don't have to tell me all of them you can tell me just one goal you have think even just speaking it is a positive thing always trying to think positive be positive that's one of my biggest goals in 2023 if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Marie I hope you would join me into the new year by subscribing and also turn on those notifications I upload three times a week I do not have a set schedule anymore so just uploading three times a week if you want to know when I upload my videos make sure to turn on that bell I feel like my wig is like sliding off my head a little bit I wanted to just kind of refresh and show you all how easy it is with this particular wig to just refresh it restyle it again and this wig will be linked below threw it into a ponytail like this is the most convenient wig ever first things first um, as you can see I have like nothing glued down yeah let's start with this hair because i don't want this to take too long i'm gonna take it out of this ponytail this is a bob style it will be linked below in the description box i have done a full video on it so if you would like to see the unboxing of this wig i will pop that video out right here also my nails if you're interested in my nails i did post like a quick glimpse of how i did them this video it will also pop out to you guys right here if you want to see how i did my nails if you definitely want more nail diy videos hair um makeup and nails video definitely let me know in the comment section and tell me what kind of styles you like to see in the new year i don't have this wig glued down just tighten the strap in the back whenever i have a wig that look like this if i've slept in it and i've done anything to it for days i like to take a little bit of this spray this is by care care you can get any type of spray that you choose just a light oil you don't need too much i'm just going to lightly spray one spray there in the back and on the sides and i just comb it through this is a bob wig with highlights this is a brown color with a streak of highlight just at the front so i think one of my biggest goals is to just feel more motivated next year than i did this year i had a lot going this year so i'm hoping that 2023 can bring more positivity you know good things i think i'm gonna add some curls to this hair because you you already seen it straight so i think just adding some curls would be nice to this hair and as you can see the lace blends very well this lace is phenomenal like i absolutely love this bob several of you have told me how much you love this company there's it's good okay as a matter of fact if you watch my previous video with the curly hair oh my god that hair is also from them super pretty I'm hoping in 2023 i can bring more giveaways to you all a lot of times when i do my giveaways um like i did one last month some of you probably didn't know that times when i share my giveaways i just kind of randomly put it into a video that's why i tell you guys to make sure that your notifications are turned on and make sure that you are watching the videos because you just never know what you're going to miss <laughs> i'm also going to pin these curls i know every time i curl wigs or style wigs on my head i get a comment of someone asking why didn't i just do it on a canvas head it really don't matter sometimes i just like the feel of styling the wig on my head because i can kind of get the visual better I had somebody leave a comment and tell me that um, watching me style my wigs is therapeutic for them. I don't know why that made me happy. As I'm learning and as I'm styling my own hair every day, I try to bring something different in each video. Like, yes, I may be styling a wig, but I'm giving you guys something that you didn't know in each video. Or maybe you did know, but I didn't know. <laughs> but I love when you all tell me things like that because social media is so competitive like everybody's trying to outdo everybody loving what i do and if i don't love it i don't do it but i'm hoping like in 2023 i'm always showing up for you all so i just want you all to show up for me and i appreciate everyone who definitely do and i see you you don't know i am on tiktok you know i like tiktok because 
I feel like I can just randomly post and it's so simple, so easy. It's not as complicated as uploading a video, but it do take a little work too. And why is this part not curling? I'm not gonna pin curl the back, I'm just gonna curl it. If you wanna follow me on TikTok, my TikTok is MarieSpace23. I would love to hear if you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to see from my channel next year. I'd love to hear that in the comments. You can leave a comment below this video. I don't want to curl it up. No, curl it this way. By the way, just in case you're wondering, this length, I believe, is about a 12 inch. I don't know what it is about shorter wigs, but I feel like the hair on shorter wigs, the quality is 10 times better. Not saying that some long wigs don't have good quality. I smell Cause she burned a cookie. I smell the to the room. I know, it stink. It smells crispy. <laughs> yep, that's what crispy smell like. I'm so curious on how this is about to turn out because <clears throat> I literally sometimes just depend on the direction I'm curling the hair. Like I have this visual of what I want it to look like, but sometimes it come out differently. It's a good thing sometimes, not a good thing some other times. But I always try to at least make sure that the front has a lot of volume. So I kind of take it up like this. And then I take my curler, take it this way and roll it toward the face like so. With this type of curler, you only need it to sit for like 10, less than 10 seconds. It's so good. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront link. It's in the description box and this wig will also be linked in that description box. I know I say that in every video, but I always get people asking me about the products I use. And I'm gonna continue to say that because I know I'm gonna continue to get <laughs> questions. So if you know, you know, but some people don't know. So that's why I kind of repeat it. Go ahead and thumbs up the video before you leave. Super helpful, super appreciated. <laughs> Here, I expect you to leave a comment because I like hearing from you guys. I really do like it. Don't feel like I'm talking to myself when I have people in the comment section chatting back, you know, giving your feedback. And it also helps me to figure out, you know, how I can bring better content to you all. My makeup is a little bit runny. You guys can see it, a little bit runny. But I don't go back and redo my makeup um, throughout the day. It's just too much. So. I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is an NC42, a damp beauty blender, and I'm just going to touch up those areas that are a little bit off. And you can already see the difference. Look at that, compared to this side. I'm just gonna go in areas that are oily. And if you wanna know my makeup routine or anything, like my foundation, I have videos on my channel that you all can watch. I do hair and makeup in both. And I like this because it's not a setting powder, it's a foundation. If you wonder why I always set my under eye area and my face with a foundation most of the time, it's because it actually gives coverage. These work. I'm gonna to touch up my brows a little bit. They are perfect. What I'm gonna do is just kind of fill in areas that may have faded. Take a bit of the even. Um, spray and this is a sensitive can this is not supposed to cause any type of ir irritation or anything like that and I spray it on the end and when I'm done with my brows I slightly not too much I lightly coat it with that last all day girl you're welcome <laughs> it's been a few minutes I think the hair might be ready to take down I think in 2023 I might get my nose pierced <laughs> I actually just wanted to kind of test it out to see if I can feel comfortable with it, if I like it. Girl, let's do something different in 2023, right? I'm gonna go ahead and take these down. Wait a minute. I'm gonna use this Sebastian spray. Like I said, if you want more hair and makeup videos together, combination of hair, nails, and makeup video, definitely drop me some comments below. Now, if I'm just in a mood, I'm gonna bring one, regardless of if you guys want it or not, but if you want it to be consistent is what I'm saying. Just like, it's fun to do hair, makeup, and nails. Like, what girl don't like doing all that at once? All right, I'm gonna push back the hairlines. I think I am gonna use a spray and glue it down. I don't have to, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I should. I'm gonna separate 
some edges I like to call my edges and that is because I feel like they're soft a straight across hairline like it don't it don't it don't make me feel feminine it reminds me so much like when guys get the tape line and I don't I don't not yeah that ain't me girl that ain't me <laughs> again this wig is from Ronnie hair it will be in the description box Oh, I got a little bit of this left. I need to get some more. I'm gonna hold it right here and then continue to dry it on cool air. I'm gonna take some of the spray. And actually, I'm gonna use my other brush. Now, if you spray this on your edge brush, it's going to make it hard. So you may wanna rinse your brush. I don't do it. That's why my brushes are so like stiff. <laughs> and I'm just gonna create this edge. See? Nothing intense, just something that's very light. Just natural edge. Okay, and then I'm gonna dry it some more. Yeah. See, I got the little light edges there. Nothing too dramatic. It's just soft, natural looking. And like I always tell you guys, do what works for your face. That's the best way you're going to get a natural realistic looking wig you have to do what works for your face your hair you can take my tips alter those tips a little bit to fit you this is definitely one of those times where i say <laughs> i curl the hair and i don't know how it's going to turn out i expect it one way but this turned out better than i thought it was so not complaining i'm not complaining <laughs> i'm gonna go down to parting to open it up because i don't feel like it need like the other products on it because it's just so tight in that area my camera do not want to focus today I'm sorry you guys I'm just take the wax stick down because it does have a lot of flyaways then what I'm gonna do is take the spray spray that top some more wait for my camera okay and then I'm gonna go down it with the curling iron this is perfect girl this is beautiful. Let's look at the back. Hold on. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and be sure to leave a comment below this video. You can share it also. Um, but yeah, this turned out cute, girl. Definitely, I love it. So Again, this wig will be linked below in my description box below this video. Um, I will try to link it in the comment section also if you guys are having a hard time finding that description box. But I hope you guys have a wonderful 2023 and I will see you all back in a new year.